Ahoy pirate friends and welcome back to Pirate Family Fun and Learning. Today we are going to do a cool video involving Jenga blocks. But we're not actually going to play Jenga. We are going to try to build the tallest tower that we possibly can using Jenga blocks. And we're going to use our ruler to measure how high we can go. Yeah. I and we're going to learn a little bit. Twilight we also have Twilight Sparkle, who's going to try to perch on top of our building. We have two mostly full sets of Jenga to work with today. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour them out on the table. Why don't you get the first one there? Twilight Sparkle is going to use his horn to open it up. Okay, and dump them on the table. Just dump the whole thing on the table. I want to see a cool... Explosion of blocks. Wow, that was cool. And dump. Woo! <laughs> All right, we got a lot of raw material to work with here. Let's see if we can get up to a full yard, which is 36 inches or three feet. That'll be our goal. You think we can do it? Yes! Yes! We yes we can! Alright! Guess what Twice Sparkle is doing? He's using it with his horn. <laughs> using magic? <laughs> Alright, that is a nice start. One tip for anyone who's trying to build really tall stacks is that the wider your base is, the more stable it is. So if you think of the Eiffel Tower, it, insert picture of Eiffel Tower here. The base is very wide and it goes up to a narrow top. It's not going to fall over. Buildings that are just straight up and down usually dig way deep into the ground to anchor themselves. Um, but we can't dig into our table here. To anchor it. So we're going to try to build a fairly wide base and then build up. I'm going to show you what to be much skinnier up at the top. Bartos, mini is wide. All right. Mini. <laughs> it didn't. Twice Bartos, it can definitely knock it over. Because yep. his body is like the size of the door. Yes. Yeah, if Twilight Sparkle tried to get through that door, it would knock over, wouldn't it? Let's find out. Yep. <laughs> That's your favorite part though, isn't it? Knocking stuff down. That's what Jenga's all about anyway, right? You start building there. See how high you can get that before it topples over. I'm gonna begin experimenting over here with some ideas. Whoa, that's getting pretty tall. You know what, before that falls down, let's measure it. Okay, so it's right here at that number. Do you know what number that is? One, one. You know what one, one is? Eleven. Eleven! It's eleven inches tall. That's how far we've got so far. Eleven inches. You know how tall I did. Alright, now... That was even taller. It's up here by this one. One five. That's 15 inches. 15 inches. <laughs> that is really, really tall. So. Whoa. Whoa, it's getting a little bit tippy. See, this one has a very narrow base. Whoa. It's not as sturdy Whoa. as this one over here. Whoa. Wow, you did it without it falling over. That is really cool. I want to see here where we're at. That is one eight. 
What is that? Do you know what that is? One eight is eighteen. I can do one more mini door. All right, let's see. What? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Oh no, that mine's broken. Twilight Sparkle. We're never gonna make it. How long did it tell me? You know what? This is a number that you can read, I bet, because it's short enough that you can read it. Okay, it's right here at this number. Do you know what this number is? Five. Five, you got it. Five inches high for this cup. Twenty-five. Oh, whoa! Two-five is twenty-five. Let's try to do a little bit more. Yeah. And then we can measure it. No! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and try this other design I've got here. Okay, this one's a little bit more stable. So I built this base, and we're going to try to build on top of it all the way up to 36 inches together, okay? We normally do not sit on the table, but when you kneel on the table, you can help me put a layer up here, okay? And we're going to use your design on top of my design. So a door just like that. So we're going to try to go a little bit skinnier as we get up taller and by the top you might need just to do this like a little spire to get it tall enough let's see how high we are now we are at oh we are almost there we're almost there we're at 32 and a half 32 is a three and then a two 32 Okay, now you balance the last one on top. Wow. Okay, you did it. Now let's see if I can just let it go. Without making it fall. Without it falling down. It's feeling a little wobbly. We did it. Let's measure. We made it higher than 36 inches. In fact, I think we got another 2 inches on top of that. I think we're at 38 inches tall. Now, I don't know about you, but this deserves to be knocked over, don't you think? But remember, Twilight don't need to stand on top of it. Oh. All right, let's see what happens if Twilight Sparkle tries to stand on top of it. And let's just take a look here. We've been doing this static because I've been helping you, but let's take a look at how high we have the Jenga blocks. 38 inches. And let go. What would happen? Oh. It was really the top. <laughs> I think we just lost our engineering license. Well, farewell, me hearties. Thanks for joining us here for another swashbuckling good adventure. Thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs up if you like the video. And smash your Gina Watts on, on the like button if you like our video.